Hi, this is Matt from HowToMakeiPhoneApps.com, and today I'm going to show you how to send an email using the Message UI framework from iPhone OS 3.0. As you can see, I've already created a view controller project using a template in Xcode and start filling out some of the details that I'm going to need. The first step you need to take when you want to add email support is to add the Message UI framework to your Frameworks group folder. If you don't know how to do that, you can check the original blog post for the file path of your Message UI framework. The next step you need to do is to decide what object uh, you want to use as a delegate for the Message UI framework. Since we're using a simple demo example, I chose just to use the view controller that, we, that was automatically created for me in Xcode. So th the idea of a delegate object is that your, the framework is going to need something to receive messages and to take action on behalf of, of the email system. So you need to, to indicate to the system what object is going to be a delegate and, and you need to, to do certain things in order for that delegate to be able to handle events. Now for the view controller I needed to first of all import these two header files for, from the message UI framework so it knows what it's doing basically and I also needed to indicate that it was going to be a delegate. So. Since we indicated that this is going to be a delegate, it implies we need to fulfill uh, an obligation to create a certain method so the system can handle the event, an event. And the event that the system needs to handle in this case is what happens when a user is done, finish, is done composing or sending or canceling an email. To keep things simple, okay, and that method is also called did finish with result, and it's pretty obvious what that means. It means that the user is done with the email and something has happened. This result uh, parameter here is going to tell you whether the email was su uh, successfully sent. Although in this case, it really means that, this, that the user successfully pressed the send button. It doesn't mean that the email was sent by the system. Uh, one really important thing, though, for this delegate method uh, is that you need to send a dismiss modal view controller animated message to your delegate object. And just as a point of reference, we are in the implementation file now of the demo view controller. So what this is going to do is return control of the program or the app back to the user after the email is sent. If you don't do this, they'll be stuck in the email window forever. So the next part uh, of this uh, task is to start composing the email, and we use that by using the MF Mail Composer View Controller. So I'm going quickly up to this IB Action method, mail it, which I have hooked up to a button on my on my app. So how you use this is you set this you instantiate of course allocate memory and you set the delegate to whatever delegate object and since we are in the implementation file on the view controller you can simply choose self for that use a method called set subject to set the subject line of the email and my email subject line will be I have a pencil for you uh, as an example say if you have a, a UI image and you want to send that as an attachment you can have if you have that UI image you can use the uh, UI image JPEG representation to convert that into an NS data which you can use you can add as an attachment to your email. The method you use is called add attachment data. So you simply pass the NS data object along to that with some other information telling the system what kind of object this is. Um, the NS string uh, you can also use set message body and that will uh, send that will set the email message so you can put any text you want in here and you can include HTML tags as long as you uh, set, uh, answer yes to the is HTML parameter here. This uh, statement right here presents to the user uh, a little dialog which uh, allows them to edit the email they're about to send and then gives them the option to send or cancel the email and then of course we release the picker. Real quick before my time runs out I'm going to show you how this all uh, comes together in an app. And I'm building and going right now. As you can see I have the button. This is going to invoke the mail it method. And there you go. So this is the subject we used for this set subject uh, message. This was what, how we this was what happened when we did the set message and this is the JPEG image I stuck in my project. And as you can see the user can do a bunch of stuff. If they hit cancel it goes back to the main program. And that's it.